Hello everyone, Worm5406 here. As you can see by the title, new addition to the 120. I'm adding three items in this tank today. I think it's three. Yeah, it's three items. First thing I'm going to do is obviously a water change. As you can see, the hose is already set up there. I need to also readjust some of the rock that's sitting in here. Um, shouldn't be too bad of a deal. I did enlist my 14-year-old so he can sit in and help me so you may see his head pop into the two views sitting there. Um, the 120 has been up and running, then I put in the 180, so the 120 was out of service for probably about um, six months or so, then I brought it back in line. You can see by the piping there on the right-hand side, the uh, pipes just run over the edge and run down to the common sump that's down below. You can see by the rock, I got some of the ready reef rock. It's on the right-hand side, kind of the, uh, turn it into an upside-down bird's nest, and you can see there on the left hand side got some huge rocks from a friend's 265 takedown in the tanks kind of hard to see depending if you're looking at them you can see there's two maroon clowns in there yeah i gotta remove them out for the addition also so, so they're not pestering and picking out items not really going to bother you with the actual moving of the rock just because it became a little bit dirty in the tank and everything also sorry about the pole in the way uh, the poles there holding the steps that you can kind of see in the corner and afterwards i did realize after i recorded everything that the lights were putting a little bit of a glare sitting there on the screen so sorry about that so as you can see it's already drained out and it's starting to refill back up now fish are okay what we're getting ready to do here is once we refill i'm going to use the water we took out of the tank and actually scrub a little bit of the algae that's on some of those rocks off before we uh rearrange it and redo some of the addition so it really wasn't too hard of a job just took a little bit of a uh, time and effort um, of course, wearing gloves really helps just to make sure you're not really getting anything on you, making sure that nothing's going to poke you or any open sores or anything. Also helps make sure any of the oils or anything doesn't really get hooked down into the onto the uh, water surface, that is. Um, in that tank right there, like I said, two maroon clowns, um, two cardinals, um, let's see here, a black and white clown, two orange clowns, oh, one chromis also. Also down the bottom, can't, re can't really see it now, there's two starfish sitting down there, and there are two red-footed, I forgot what they're called, somebody will probably put in the comments down below, two red-footed snails, long snouts, ah, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, the mag scraper sitting right there in the middle of the screen, I guess really should have moved it before I did too much of it. We're going to stop here just for a second in the video part, and then switch over to what the new one looks like, but just give you a quick look at what it looks like a little bit below the tank there also yet yeah, it's, it's a little bit of mess sometimes it's a rolly cart there on the left just so i can move things back and forth so let's get ready for the next part back on the 120 you can see here after i've redid the rockscape cleaning things up grab the two maroon clowns and put them down below the sump not too bad a little bit better flows a little bit better Move the uh, MP40s over and down a little bit just to give them a little bit different flow. Right now, in this picture, I'm actually acclimating um, all three of the items I'm getting ready to add. So you're not going to pain you through that process. That was a, a pretty tedious process, as always. Um, first thing we're going to see here is a new to this tank, a red Hadani. Beautiful Hadani. Very beautiful. Its girth is probably about... I don't know, 12 inches across as it stretches out at least. Uh, maybe a little bit less, 8 to 12 at least. I really should measure it. So now you can see it's being put in the tank, and I'm kind of pushing it around just a little bit to uh, kind of let it hook its foot there on that one rock there. Well, as you can see here, the Adani's in there. Next thing we're going to add is a just as beautiful green gig. Um, down there on the far side, I'll have to t make a new video of each one individually. Once I put them in the net and try to pull them down. He was attached to a rock, so I'm going to let him slowly move off the rock at some point. Um, and reattach the rock that's sitting there behind it just so we can get a little bit different flow and all. You can see I'm trying to put that gig in there a little bit and just let it relax a little and open up. Bear in mind, I am cutting in between the scenes so you're not seeing the slow, tedious process, like I said earlier, of trying to acclimate these. Um, it's not like they're back to back to back and putting them all in the tank. So you can see there, I'm kind of setting them up a little bit on the rock, just moving that rock around a little bit, trying to 
spin it a little bit so he's got a little bit in the flow of the MP40 that's on that left side you can barely see there below my arm. Um, you can see the Hadani is already kicked in and attached to the rock and believe it or not that little white there that's on the bottom edge is actually starting to dig into the sand a little bit because actually uh, I guess he likes the spot where he's sitting. So let's let that sit for a little bit. We're going to cut again and we're going to work on another and the final item we're going to add to this tank. Now, you'll notice the camera angle changed. I had to move the camera, um, move some other things around, um, put the brand new gig that you also see here in a five gallon bucket and put him in the tank nice and slow. That is how big he is. I know it's a fisheye lens, but you can see about how big the rock is when I was having my hand in the tank and everything. Um, I will have to measure this later. Um, from when I originally got it, it seemed this big, it kind of looked this big. But now that it's sitting in here, it is huge. It is unbelievable in size, and you can see it really, really likes the flow. I'm going to make a little time-lapse video here so you can kind of see it move around for the next couple, probably about a minute or so. And then I'll give you a different view of the tank of the last items that I actually put in there. So I guess there's actually four, not really three. Uh-oh, I can't count. I guess it's a lot more than four items added to this tank. Yep, there is a bunch of little clowns in there. Pumps are turned off right now. Getting ready to do a little feeding. Here comes a little bit of feeding in now. Of course, they're sitting there running around. Now, this is actually a day or so later, one of the different feeding episodes. After I acclimated them, put them in a timeout for a little bit, put them in a box, let them sit for a bit. Then I let them run around the tanks just so they could get used to the other inhabitants in there. Getting ready to feed here in just a minute with some shrimp. Oh, okay, a little bit more food first, I guess. I'm going to feed with uh, some shrimp just to see how they react. You can see the, the tentacles on the gig is sitting there and pulsing away and running nicely. The green one is looking just as beautiful. It's sitting there just running around. Feeding a little bit heavy for right now just because uh, I want to see how much and how quick they eat so I can get a good gauge on how much to actually feed the tank and keep things running. There's one of the starfishes there in the middle that you can see. The back of the tank, yeah, has a little bit of algae on it. Always left a little bit on there, kind of give it a little filtering item as, just as the tank runs around. See the starfish sitting down there nice and pretty, just sitting there. Um, feeding the one starfish on the one side, and you can see one of the two shrimp are also sitting there on the side eating away at the little bit of meesey shrimp we're putting in. So let's cut over to feeding with some actual shrimp shrimp. Kind of interesting the pecking order the clowns go through and their dominance. You see them, their dance as they go back and forth. The green clown on the other side has about four of them in it. Um, so there are some over there, same type. The shrimp we're getting ready to feed is probably about an inch and a half long. Already fed the green one earlier, so I'm going to just let this float down and drop in the gig. As you can see, there's no fan movement or anything else on the MP40. You can see it compresses nicely, starts drawing it into its mouth. Let's go ahead and feed the Hadani, about the same size, about an inch and a half. The green one probably got about an inch wide piece of, I'm sorry, inch long piece of shrimp. I'm going to pause it here in just a minute after they start to suck it in to do a little time lapse on it just to squish down the time it takes them to put it to the mouth and try to expand back out.
Well, his time lapse was sped up 500%, shrunk down to about two minutes. You can see they both will eat pretty good. I think the gig gets done first. You can see the red-footed snail. I still can't remember the name of that. Over to the far right is a blowing a little sand around. I guess he was getting a little irritated by the food or whatever else it may have been around. But tank's doing wonderful. These additions have been here in the tank for, I don't know, a day or two, three at least. I did most of these videos. Um, everything is working wonderful. Yes, the clowns will be fed multiple times a day just to reduce the um, fighting and fighting back and forth along the mall. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you write it down in the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe if you would. Give me a thumbs up on the video also just so I can see how things are and how you like them. Any ideas or suggestions, you can always put down in the comments and I'll normally I'll write back to you personally or at least take them to an, an advice. Enjoy your day. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at my little oasis in the uh, sea here at home. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Again, it's Warm5406. You can also reach me on ReefCentral.com. Listed on there also is Warm5406.